Hey, I'm the cat toy lady. All right, I know I get excited over a lot of products, but this one kind of takes the cake for me. We have been traveling the country for the last year in an RV and establishing our new property with an old cabin on it that we're trying to rehab. So we are still in the RV and my cats, I just, I don't think they're getting the enrichment that they used to at home when we had our multiple catios off of our house. So that's why today's video is so awesome because I've actually had you guys write in requesting that I do a review of this particular product. And I just happened to be able to partner up with them and get the product to test out for you and tell you how it really works. So what it is, is in these boxes is an outdoor catio enclosure you know, one of the prefab ones, so you don't have to try to build it from scratch. You know it's safe. And this is the one from AV Tuvin, which is like the company that you see on Amazon, uh, Chewy, Tractor Supply, Walmart. Every major company that sells products sells this. Oh, even Wayfair. And you know this product wouldn't be everywhere if it wasn't something that people were liking. So now that we're stationary on our property, I've figured out a way to be able to attach it to the RV to be able to get my cats that outdoor time that they really love. And then once we move into the cabin in a couple months, I had the perfect spot for it to go to. So it's definitely going to be well loved around here. So this is a picture of it from their website. You can see it has a door, it has different panels so you can be able to attach and move it onto your house and have a cat door that your cats can come in and out of into it. And this one is a perfect size for our cats. That way all four can go in it, no fights over territory because there is so much space inside. And if you're wondering, this one is the Air 37, but they have lots of different ones on their website. And I have to say, when we get to that point when I'm ready for chickens, I, I already have the chicken coop picked out too. And they even make outdoor enclosures and houses for ferrets, and guinea pigs and rabbits, not just chickens and cats. So definitely go check out their website. They have lots of stuff to offer. And if you're wondering where it's going to go, right here, I'm going to build a platform out of cabin wood. And this window right here is one of the ones that slides up. These have to flip out on the sides, but this one can actually slide up like a house window. I am going to elevate up a platform where it sits perfectly and the cats can come in and out of that window in the living room. And because these windows right here flip out, those aren't going to be suitable ones to be able to use for the cat enclosure. And I already have my cat door picked out to go right in that window. So because I am putting it on a platform, I'm building the platform after I assemble the catio. So what I'm actually going to do is get it ready out here. That way I can kind of measure it and find the exact spot that it needs to sit at the platform. And then I'll build the platform. I'll be building the platform with salvage wood from the cabin. So you will actually see that on my Saving the Cabin channel. That's the name of it. I don't think it's going to be a big deal to move from right here once I assemble it to right in front of me where the RV is. So let's get these bad boys unpacked and see what there is. There we go. Everything is pulled out of its packaging. Nothing seems damaged. So let's start assembling and see how easy this really is. All right, I, I just had to make a little side note to this real quick. I'm getting started and I was a little shocked since I put together a lot of stuff recently especially with rehabbing the cabin and furniture inside the RV things like that when have you ever seen a manual for putting together a piece of furniture or anything else that didn't look like a Xerox copy this is awesome it's clear you can read it it's in English no blurriness to any part of it it was like they actually want you to be able to put it together and not have leftover pieces. Because <laughs> that never happens. But I did notice one thing, and I'm going to challenge it. It says it's a two-person assembly. There's probably good reason for that, but it's just me. My husband is out of town, and if I really need to, I'm sure I can pull a kid over. But it's summer break, and when you try to ask a kid to do anything on summer break, it's just a bit much. <laughs> so I'm going to challenge this two person put together part and see if I can do it with one person. And they do warn you it takes about an hour to put together. So let's see.
need to point these bad boys out here. These are little dowel rods that are already in place with matching holes. It made getting these pieces connected and lined up so much easier. Why don't other furniture companies and companies that you have to put things together on your own do this for you? Why? And yes, the directions say that flipping this over makes it a little bit easier. Because I'm on gravel, I'm trying not to flip too much because I don't want to scratch it up. So I'm doing it a little harder. I'm sure.
So for this next part, I kind of do need someone to push on the other side. I still don't have anyone to help me. So I'm going to use this green tree right behind me and use the branch of it bent into a V shape to kind of give me leverage through the cage to be able to uh, tighten those screws. And don't worry, this is a tree that is going to be cut down when we're, as we are adding onto the house. So this baby tree isn't going to make it. Next step is supposed to be the roof. I'm going to hold off because this isn't level ground. So I want to put the roof on once it's on the platform. So if you are interested in building a platform for yours, go to Saving the Cabin and I will show you on that channel how I'm using reclaimed wood from my log cabin to be able to make the platform. But here's the platform. Definitely a two-person job to move it. Just saying. After a lot of manhandling and using the boxes to help me get it up there, it is in the right place. So time to make the hole in the side, which I probably should have done when it was down on the ground, I meant to, and put the roof on, woo! So right here, I meant to, while it was still on the ground, pop those staples out and fold it back. So now that it's up on the platform, I get to still do that. And I am up on the ladder. All right, I can't film from up here and show you, but just so you kind of get a clue of what I'm doing, I'm just popping them off with a screwdriver. And the reason I'm doing this is I want to be able to reuse the screen when I move it to a different spot, because I'll use the actual piece that's supposed to pop out for the cats to come through. That's what that piece is. I will use that in the future and replace this.
One more panel, one more strip, <laughs> and then I'm done. If Jeremy could see me now on a ladder. There we go. You can see there's shelves for everyone. Hidey holes for my scaredy cat. So I had been looking at this latch going, it flips up so easily, which is nice, but I'm gonna have to find some way to put a lock there. And then I realized, oh, if you just slide it back, it is its own lock. It can't go anywhere. That That's a very good detail for me since I have escape artists. And then let's take a peek at the inside up close. So again, hidey holes. This is a wonderland for a cat. They are going to love it. Let's bring a cat in. And you can see inside, I made a little bridge with a cat door. I'll show you from the other side real quick too. So this is what it looks like. I used insulation board and leftover wood that I found inside the cabin. Let's go ahead and unlock this and see if a cat will go out. What are you on? Oh, you have a jealous puppy. Oh, very jealous. All right, and so you can get a side view of it. Pretty darn cool. And I did go ahead and put up a bird feeder right in front of it for the cats to have some TV. Hi guys. Hi. So this orange guy right here can be a chewer of wood. And I thought that was one of the neat things about this product. This paint is completely safe. It's 100% eco-friendly. And this is actually fir wood. So it's not going to need any preservatives to it that would be toxic, all nice and safe. Hi, is it cool? Fresh air again. As you can tell, it can be done with one person. It just takes a whole lot longer. Just because of all the having to walk back and forth. I think including doing the platform, it took me about three hours altogether. The pre-drilled holes and these pegs that it comes with are a lifesaver when you're working by yourself. I can tell you. I can definitely say it's not the hardest thing to put together even by yourself. And I can imagine it goes like a breeze with two people. And you know me, I am always looking for fault in something. So far, knock on some wood. <laughs> I love it. I have been wanting one of these for, oh goodness, as long as I've seen them. Well over a year, like I said, it's been in my shopping cart in Amazon, like my little wish list. And being in the RV right now, since we're permanent, this is perfect and it's going to go great on the cabin. And if you don't know, my cabin, everything is kind of in gray tones. It's an old, old wood that has grayed naturally, so this is going to blend in beautifully. Do look for another video because I have ideas for zhuzhing this up and making it a little bit more personal for the cats and giving them some comfy materials inside that 
will be able to hold up to the elements, some cat grass, some name plates, things like that. This will give them a nice sanctuary. Charlie's already liking it. I wish I could show you guys really in person. It really is cool. The height is just right inside for all the platforms for even my little Charlie who sometimes doesn't jump very well. He's not gonna have a single problem with this. He's already scent marking it. And up top, my big 18 pound girl's already been in here and nothing has moved, nothing has creaked. And Ellie and Cindy, so that's what? 27 pounds together, all on the same platform without a problem. I'm just tickled pink. I, I can't <laughs> explain it. This is going to be perfect for them. But all three of my guys that like to come out and explore are already enjoying it. So definitely go look at the cabin's channel, Saving the Cabin, and see how I made the platform and what I made it out of. And look for future videos where I zhuzh this up and give it some more personality. Bye guys!